Greetings, Tuesday, 11 o'clock ish. I'm back, 11 hours flying. What can I say? It was um, a great, great AGM. Everybody was there. Um, some really good crack with uh, old friends who I don't get to see very often, and um, an awful lot of beer was consumed. But I'll go into that. Hey ho. Hong Kong AGM 2008 was good. I can't say the flight out there was really good. Um, Cathay Pacific, don't have a problem. Um, the uh, reception at the airport, Terminal 3, was great. The flight out, the service staff were excellent. The food was good. And the seating wasn't cramped. Normally on these flights in the, in the, in the low-end class, which I was in, um, you get cramped up and I don't fit. Uh, being 6'2 and long legs, I have a problem. But this time I was absolutely great. Um, managed to get some little sleep on the way out there, but 11 hours, you know, I just, ah, it's just crazy. Anyway, arrived in Hong Kong mid-afternoon, um, got the, uh, met up with a couple of guys and went out um, to the hotel on the airport bus and $140, about 14 quid. Um, bit expensive, but I know, better than a taxi. Um, hotel I was very, very impressed with when I got there. Position right on the edge of the waterfront in the harbour, overlooking Hong Kong Island. Massive, great 20 storey blue clad building. Um, very nice inside, very switch, excellent staff very attentive and a very nice restaurant downstairs which I did actually try and the room they gave me an upgrade ha ah, much to everybody's annoyance I got upgraded to an executive suite upon the 19th floor so I had a study area big lounge massive bed and a very nice walking bathroom not your cramped little affair but a decent sized one so I was very pleased um, Thursday night when we actually more met up, we, uh, I found them all in the bar and um, we had one or two beers and um, I took an early night. Friday morning um, we all met up and we went out on what's called the Peak Tram up to this massive great big complex on the top of one of the local hills. And um, I'll put up the video on both YouTube and on to um, uh, the World Architectural Facebook group so you can see them. Um, it is impressive. We actually got there and the, and the sun was really out. There was no haze, no mist. We could see for miles, which is unusual apparently. So we had a very, very good day. Um, so uh, we all met up in the evening for a few beers and a few more beers and um, eventually um, uh, swayed out of the bar late and uh, went to bed. Um, unbeknown to us, Dave Trainer had found a bar on the other side of the hotel opposite the what's called the bus station. Um, and if you've been there, you know what I mean. Um, a tiny little bar that was selling beer at half the price um, all night long. Um, hotel bar was very expensive, uh, about, about eight quid a pint, but it was two for one. So you got bought one, got one free, and so it's about four quid a pint, still, still expensive. But um, the beer over in this little bar over by the bus station was, was a lot better, and they were going till 4.30 in the morning. Well, I ain't going to stay that late anyway, but hey-ho, it was good. I enjoyed it. So what else happened? Friday nights, that was it. Um, all went to bed and got up for the AGM in the morning. Um, everybody met, met and had coffee um, and went in and listened to Mark um, do his opening um, gambit. Very, very good. I'm impressed. I mean, he, he opened it in Cantonese, which apparently, when I was talking to one of the guys, sounded quite, quite reasonable. So uh, all up for you, Mark. Very, very good. Um, two resolutions um, were put forward. Um, one from um, Denise from the Republic of Ireland, which got uh, shot down almost 100%, and one from our region, um, which uh, although we didn't win it, we just lost it. And so, uh, hey ho, business was over and done with. A couple of awards were given. One of the local guys won the, the lottery. Oh, oh, Friday night, we actually went out on a, on a 
uh, junk around the harbour, which was very good. And there was um, um, a lottery draw, which uh, raised a uh, reasonable amount of money um, for um, a holiday. And one of the local guys got it in the AGM. That was drawn then. So um, all good to him. Nice to see that. So that was Friday and Saturday out of the way. Um, Saturday night, we all got dressed up in our finery and I met for a couple of beers to start the night off and then up to uh, Mark again. For those who hadn't heard him and his wonderful Cantonese, he went back into the same speech. Um, much to the giggles of a couple of girls, so he obviously got something right and something wrong. Um, but it uh, went down very well. I was very pleased for him and um, I, didn't, I didn't win the, um, the, the President's speech time. I put down 6 minutes, uh, six minutes 58 and apparently he was 7 minutes 58. So uh, I lost out on that one as well. I don't know who won it. Um, I think one of the Irish guys on uh, Dave Trainer's table won it. So uh, anyway, the money was going into charity anyway. So whatever, he just won it to give to charity. Um, very pleased for that. Um, 12 courses, would you believe? Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Um, all little courses, all served incredibly fast fantastic food so tasty um, everything and I'll read you out what it is because I can't do anything else and do it that's the guest list I don't want that this one fresh prawns and fruit salad awesome barbecued assorted meat combination well I don't know what the meat was but it was good uh, deep fried stuffed crab claws awesome Sauté shrimps and chicken and vegetables. Braised shark fin soup with the seafood. That was brilliant. Steamed whole fish garupa. Now you brought the whole damn thing out for us to see. It's the most ugliest fish you could ever wish to see. Sauté diced beef with uh, caramelised walnuts, which were absolutely gorgeous. And uh, roast crispy chicken with a garlic sauce. Fried rice with assorted seafoods. Egg noodles in a supreme soup, which I liked. And baked sago, which was to die for. And of course the usual Chinese petty fours. So that was that was the meal over and done with. A um, couple more speeches from the locals. Apparently the RBA had a do on that that night as well, the local RBA. And so some of the dignitaries that we thought were going to come didn't come, so hey ho. Um, would have been nice to see them. Um, what else happened? Uh, nothing. We started drinking. Um, and at some point the band struck up, and you always wonder when a band strikes up, and you think, these are good. I mean, they were an oldish set of guys, and they played rock and roll like you never heard before. Really good. So that went on for quite a while, and we just stuck into the, um, into the wine. At some point, somebody took all the wine off the table. and um, Now, I'm not saying it did happen, but there was a very, very strong rumour that the open bottles were for sale outside to us again. So some people were not too pleased. Anyway, all of a sudden some bottles after some complaining appeared and we started drinking the wine again. Um, what time did it finish? Well, I saw 4.30 come and go and um, um, our president-to-be from Jersey was still there when I left, um, plus a couple of others from Scotland doing it strong, so um, great stuff. Overall, excellent. I couldn't, I couldn't fault it one iota. Organisation from CIAT was fantastic. The hotel, although a mite expensive. Oh, and I got done for $160 a day room tax, which nobody told me about. So wasn't very pleased at that, but hey ho. Um, the, the room was good and, and the service was excellent. The little trips into Hong Kong itself were fantastic. I couldn't fault the whole thing at all. Um, and eventually come back on the, the express train from um, Hong Kong Central uh, and straight into the airport and the next thing I saw was back in England after a quick sleep on the train. There you go, it's 11 o'clock so I must have started about 10 to. So there you go, everything was absolutely fine. I'll um, put up a load of video onto whatever, uh, try YouTube, try the uh, World Architectural Technologist group on my page in Facebook. Um, there'll be a load of stuff up there. It'll go up today, tonight. You know, um, still got a bit of jet lag. Uh, managed to sleep last night okay. So um, hey ho, there we go. Hope things are well. Talk to you soon.